Well, hello and welcome to Blue Lie. The dog is drinking. We just got back on our walk. I'm all hot and sweaty. This isn't highlight. This is sweat. Yuck. Anyway, welcome. It is about five something in the evening. I don't know. Had a crazy day at work, as per usual. Doyle says hello. Do you say hello? No. He's gonna get comfortable. But I wanted to show you guys something. Um, I actually stopped at Home Goods and Marshall's on my way home. And I wanted to show you something. I have been thinking about doing this for a little while, like ever since I set up my living room. And I'm gonna show you the after. Well, not the after. Well, of course I'm gonna show you the after. Duh, Emily. I'm gonna show you the before. And then I'm gonna like style it the way I want it and then I'll show you the after and this upgrade was only 20 bucks okay just set my camera to manual so now you can see it a little bit better obviously the big window is behind it but I just didn't like the way that the pillows looked I felt like I needed two pillows that were exactly the same to kind of flank this area so let me bust out my other new pillows and I'll show you like what brand they are and stuff like that if you wanna look at your you know, home goods or whatever. So I'll be right back. All right, so here are the new pillows. I am pretty much in love with these. They are so freaking cute. Let me get a little bit closer so you can actually see the little details. This is just kinda like a woven like canvas. I don't know. It's really nice. It's just like kind of like an oatmeal color. And then there's just like this little kind of piped stitching around the edge of it. It kind of looks like little pom-poms, but um, it's not. It's actually like a swirl pattern. But I think these are so cute and I think these just go so well. And I love the cohesiveness. Like this, it always bothers me like coming down the stairs and like the two pillows never matched each other. So I really like that. The, all the old pillows are over there right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but <laughs> they're gonna just live on the sofa for right now. But I love this. I wanted something light just because the chairs are so dark and then the draperies right behind it are kind of like a mid-tone. I just thought these would look really cool. I don't know, I like these. What do you guys think? I hope you guys like them. They're kind of fun. Oh, and let me um, show you the exact packaging. And I got them at Home Goods. So it was a two pack. They were only uh, $19.99 for the two of them, which was actually an awesome deal. They are feather filled pillows. And I gotta say, they're like really nice feather filled pillows. I didn't think that they would be that easy and pliable to work with, but they're actually really nice. Anyway, um, this is the brand. And then if you guys want like the SKU numbers and stuff, you can screenshot that. But anyway, I am like so in love with this little space now. Oh, I think that's so freaking cute. Oh, you can't see me because of the lighting. But oh, I love it. I think it looks so awesome. Um, I will do like a whole home decor, maybe video or something once I actually get that room like completed, complete with dead doggo. <laughs> He's so hot, right? It is really hot outside today. But yeah, oh, I just love that little update. I just think it's so much fun because, you know, you gotta have fun once in a while. And I was looking at these other pillows that were like $24.99 a piece, and I saw them and I was like, oh, that's really cute. They were like lumbar pillows and they had a little bit of beading on them, which all my pillows are decorative anyway, so like they're not for like laying your head down, you know what I mean? But I thought they were super cute, and then there was two of them, which was great, and then I looked at one of them and there was like, I swear somebody had like kissed it with their lipstick. I'm like, what? Who does that? Where it was like bright, uh, it was like a oatmeal color and like a bright white and um, you know, kind of my neutral vibe anyways. But it was like where it was bright white and I like tried to get it out and I was like, if this is actually lipstick, ugh, it's kind of like an oil-based situation and I may or may not be able to get it out. So. Obviously I didn't go for that. And then I found those and I was like, what? These are only 20 bucks for the whole pack? I'm taking these home. I'm like, I'm pretty sure these are gonna work out really great. The more I kinda carried them around, the more I really, really liked them. Um, there was an extra set, like there was two sets of two. I'm kinda wishing I got the other set of two, but I don't know what my 
sofa situation is going to be in the upcoming future. I need to actually go and like look at sofas. I've kind of changed my mind on the sofa. And I know you guys have been sending me like really good links and I appreciate it. So thank you so much to everyone that's been sending me stuff. Oh God, there's a dog. Um, can you sit down? Can like he wants to smell inside of my mouth. It's so gross. Anyway, I talked to um, one of my good friends, Kristen. She's got two of these guys and um, she's got a leather sofa and she got it from Macy's. And I asked her, I was like, so how do you, you know, how is the you know quality of it? Can you get down? Jeez. So I asked her, I was like, so how is the quality of it? You know, having, you know, Shiba's and you know, just life happen on it. And she's like, I hate it. I'm actually gonna get a fabric sofa like in the near future. This dog, I swear, I don't know what his deal is. Can I help you with something? Okay, okay, he's like finally off my body now. But anyway, she's like, no, I would definitely get a fabric sofa. So now I'm kind of back to the drawing board and I don't know if I just wanna get like just a fabric sofa with no recliners and then end up getting like maybe like a leather or like two leather like barca lounger like recliners or something because over in that area definitely has like way more than enough space for some more seating but like I don't have that many friends but whatever <laughs> don't tell anybody okay I know I definitely want some sort of reclining situation in here however I could just get like ottomans for like you know this area over here um, because I really like this placement of a sofa like I really like this placement I think it's nice I like to have it kind of floating I think that's kind of cool so yeah I don't I don't know but I think I need to just like dedicate a day go look at some furniture but again I know I've said this before but I want to save up for it I want to pay cash for it I mean I have the money but I want to wait I'd rather I'd rather wait I think like maybe in the fall I'll get it but it would be nice to kind of know what um, you know direction I'm leaning towards. So I don't think I'm actually gonna go furniture shopping while the vlog is still happening. I will obviously end up showing you like what sofa I end up getting at some point. But yes, I don't know. I've been looking on like Overstock and Wayfair and like the local furniture stores and stuff for like their fabric sofas. Nothing is like speaking to me. I feel like I just need to go and like see it in person and sit on it because seeing it online, it's just kind of like, eh, doesn't speak to me, you know? But I am really loving the way this is looking. I'm like looking at it right now. Let's see if it'll look better if I turn around. I think that looks so freaking nice. Sorry, it's so blown out. Dang, windows keep diffusing all the light. <laughs> I guess it's a good problem. Here, we'll go like we'll go like that. You can kind of see it a little bit better. We'll just show one chair and all of Doyle's toys. <laughs> but yeah, I am loving those pillows. Oh, and if you guys are interested, I got the chairs at World Market. They are no longer available. The style is available, but the fabric isn't available anymore. I actually had to go to Iowa to go and pick up the remainder of the chairs, so they didn't have it online anymore. But they have that style, just different fabric uh, types and fabric patterns at World Market. What are you doing, Doyle? Licking his arm, being a cat. But yeah, that was my big adventure of the day. Um, but yeah, so I am going to have some dinner. I have some more of those leftovers left. So I'm gonna have the remainder of that. And then um, my dad is coming over not today, but he's coming over tomorrow to facilitate with the mattress and box spring and frame delivery for the guest room upstairs. So I need to clear out the guest room a little bit. I have just like my laundry rack up in there right now. So I'm just gonna completely get everything out of there. And I just told my dad, just have him put it in the center of the room. I'm gonna have to attach the headboard anyways. And um, I don't know which orientation I want to put it in, so I'll show you guys all of that stuff tomorrow anyways. I'm excited for it to finally be done, and then um, over the weekend, laundry day, um, tomorrow I'm actually going to launder uh, the two sets of sheets that I got at Target a while back, 
And um, I think I had a, yeah, if you guys are interested to know like the bedding and stuff that's on, that's going to be on the bed, I'll link my um, Target haul below. It's like a Target home haul I did, I think it was last month. It was basically all stuff for that room. There was a couple of things. I think it was like the draperies and stuff for my master bedroom I showed in there too, but it was mainly all stuff for the guest room. So I'm so excited to finally get that up and running because I have a guest coming to stay next weekend which you guys will see because the vlog is still going on next weekend. So yeah, it kind of, it feels weird that there's like only two more weekends of the vlog. It feels weird. It feels really weird. And like, we're already on a Friday. So what, like, like 11 or like 11 days or something. I don't know. I'm excited to show you guys the progress of the guest bedroom. And I will end up doing like a dedicated full video on the guest bedroom once I have it exactly how I want it. Um, it's just gonna be kind of temporary for right now because I have a guest coming to stay. And so I have like a little side table I'm gonna set up and stuff in there for them. But that table is not gonna be permanent. I think I'm actually gonna go to like maybe home goods at some point, probably go with my mom because she's got a bigger vehicle <laughs> or, or take my mom's car for the day. Actually, no, I'll probably go with my mom because she likes to adventure <laughs> and uh, go and look for like a side table or something for that room because I don't really know what I want. You know, I don't want to break the bank. So home goods and Marshalls are like my jam right now. And you can find some really cool stuff there. Like, I don't know, I really like it. I really do like it. I am getting really hungry. I'm not as sweaty as I was when I first started this, <laughs> but I am gonna go eat and then I will uh, talk to you guys in just a little bit. Well, hello, I'm back, but for you, it was no time. Um, it's been a couple of hours. Actually, no, it's been like two hours. I am diligently waiting for seven o'clock to strike. It is currently 6.43 and I'm on Facebook because the planner group that I'm a part of, um, I am not an admin or any of that. I don't plan any of these things. There's a bunch of other amazing, talented women that do that and I attend some of these events in Minnesota. I know a lot of you have always asked me what the group name is and all of that. So let me turn you around, I'm gonna show you. Oh, do you see the little dog creeper right there? Oh, there he is, creepy dog. <laughs> um, but anyway, there are, uh, I'll turn you around in a second, but there are some early registration tickets happening soon, or I don't know, I think you have to like sign up for the registration tonight, and then um, they like bill you for it later it's gonna be in Stillwater in august i will Jeez. he's having struggles over there he's got to get the right spot i mean there's not a shortage of any pillows or fluffs over there, seriously, Doyle. Wow, that took a while. <laughs> anyway, but today is the registration. I'm very excited. Um, this is like a paid event. They only do two paid events a year, one in the winter and then one in the summer. So this is their summer event. I'm very, very excited. I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. It looks like it's on the 19th. So it'll be August 19th. So you guys will end up seeing that in my planner. But tonight at 7 p.m. is the early registration. So I have to sign up on this, like, I think it's like a Google form or something. And then um, in a couple of days, she's going to bill everybody that was, you know, it's like a first come first serve kind of a thing. I think there's only like 35 or 40 slots open so it's really just whoever is available because a lot of times in the summer it's so difficult because not everyone is available at that time oh well i mean there's some people who are like oh i'm on vacation or i'm out of town or whatever kind of sucks but but hopefully we just see them at the next meetup so let me turn you around and i will show you what the name of the group is okay so this is the name of the group it's hashtag minnesota planner addicts and then in parentheses land of 10,000 planners and actually jody one of the admins not jody from youtube but different jody posted like a 
tentative location and meetup dates and stuff. So that was kind of cool. I've actually already put all of these in my planner. So that's kind of awesome. And then I actually put in, okay, so the winter paid event is gonna be in February at some point, but the January event I actually put in my planner, but I put it on another sheet because this is my 2017 planner. I need to bust out my 2018 planner and put that in there. If you guys are in Minnesota and are interested in the group at all and wanting to ever come to meetups, I will put a link down below or you can just search it on Facebook. It's a closed group, um, but what will happen is um, you'll get approved and all of that. So just ask to join and one of the admins will approve you. Like I said, I am not an admin. I don't make up any of this stuff. I just go and attend. A lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times I'll end up vlogging or filming um, some of it and then putting it on the internet. If it was a planner event, it was with this group. And I've met some really, really cool people through this group and I'm just really excited to register tonight. So I am hydrating with the Camelback and I'm just waiting. So I've got about 10 more minutes to wait and I'm gonna sit here and wait and I literally have my cell phone ready as well it is um got my alarm on there for I think I set it to like 658 or something so I could like refresh my screen for a couple of minutes um, but I just want to make sure I get in because they their paid events only have a certain amount of slots because there's only so many people that they can accommodate you know and a lot of times um, I don't want to speak for this event because I'm not a part of the event, but a lot of times when you have paid for things, like a paid for event, you get like swag from sticker shops and washi shops and like one of the events that we went to, actually both of the events last calendar year, we got t-shirts, which was really cool and I wear mine all the time. And then um, this past winter when we went to the winter event, we got like a really cool like canvas bag and a bunch of other swag and different stuff and I don't know there's just like really cool interesting like planning stuff which I think is kind of nice so there'll definitely be swag at this one I'm pretty sure um unless the admins have other plans which actually might be kind of cool too so I will put the link the Facebook link um below for you guys so anyway I'm gonna sit here for another few minutes and I will check in after I get registered <laughs> I got in! Yes! I am a summer event attendee. Woohoo! Actually, to be like completely clear, I don't really know if I got in or not. I'm pretty sure I did because I submitted the form at like 7.01, so I should be good. Um, but there is like 35 or 40 slots, so they're gonna go, like if they get more than 40, they're gonna go in order in which they received them. So hopefully I got in, uh, maybe. I don't know. But I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here. I just talked to my mom and dad about the bed situation for tomorrow. So they are gonna come over. Actually, my dad's gonna come over and then I think my mom's gonna come over after that if the bed hasn't delivered by then and um, just like take over. The delivery people said that they were gonna call me but I don't really trust that. Cause they said, oh, we're gonna call you like 20 minutes before which is great cause my parents only live like 10 minutes away. I don't really trust it. There's been a lot of like weird stuff happening with this house. So I just don't, I don't want to risk it, okay? So my dad's gonna come over and hang out and just probably like sit here and hang out. I don't know, like my TV doesn't have like normal television on it. So he will be bored, but that's okay. He can be bored for a couple of hours. That is gonna be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, let me show you the dog real quick. Look at this dog. What's happening over here, buddy? Like, you can't even, hold on. Let's see if you can even see him. Hold on, let's turn here. Doyle, you look like a pillow. He has like become one with all of the fluffs over there. Doyle, you look like a pillow, bud. You're looking like a pillow. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, but you're so gross because, ugh, look at this. Look at this. Ugh. See, it just comes out in clumps. It is so nasty. This is like the summer with the shibi. So gross. So gross. 
Gonna take it to the trash can and throw it away. Well, we are gonna say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Make sure to thumbs up the video if you liked it and subscribe. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday with new content, but this is a vlog. So I'm vlogging every day in the month of July and I vlogged every day in the month of June too. So I will put those playlists down below for you guys if you wanna watch them. There's lots of cute Doyle footage and I think almost all of the vlogs. We're done for the day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.